Good day everyone. Welcome to another episode in our series. Together we learn how to be better pet owners and how to make our pets happier. Join us. Today we will talk about squirrels. Has it ever occurred to you while watching squirrels in the park or in the yard, depending on where you live, that this could be an ideal pet for you? If your answer is yes, stay tuned and find out why it might not be such a good idea to have this cute fluffy ball as a pet. Before we do that, make sure you subscribe to our channel, if you haven't already, click the subscribe button and the notification bell and don't miss anything. To begin with, perhaps the most important reason is that they are wild animals, they belong to the rodent family, but unlike mice, rats, hamsters, guinea pigs and rabbits, they feel best outside, in the wild. Of course, there are always exceptions, and we have witnessed many videos of cute squirrels living happily in their home. But the reality can sometimes be different. These are often cubs that were left without their mother by an unfortunate accident, and which animal rescuers successfully raise, and after some time release back into nature. Of course, it is important to do this on time, because if they spend too much time with people, they know that they are attached to humans, and they cannot survive in nature. Raising squirrels is not an easy task at all, and that is why it would be best to leave it to animal protection societies, which have the conditions for it. You should know that your squirrel needs a large cage, well secured with plenty of room to run and play, because they are very agile and active animals. In addition to the specific diet of squirrels, which consists of nuts and berries, we should take into account several important things if we want such pet. For example, the fact that squirrels as wild animals can have fleas, ticks and various parasites that they can transmit to humans and other pets, although rodents, they can also be carriers of rabies. Of course, a squirrel bought from a local pet shop or breeder would not have all that. In many states it's illegal to keep them as pets, some states require licenses, and in other states, people are required to have wildlife rehabilitated training. There are many types of squirrels, if you are interested in having one of them as your pet, we advise you to find out about the type whose keeping conditions best meet. Their lifespan in the wild is up to 6 years, in captivity 10 and more. They can bond with people and love their company, but you should know that male squirrels are especially aggressive twice a year during the mating season. You should also know that an unattended squirrel in your apartment or house, with its sharp teeth, can do a lot of damage in no time, by nibbling on things. They love to cuddle. But they can bite, they have very sharp little teeth, we know that from personal experience, and it's not pleasant at all. But if it's a domesticated squirrel, you probably won't have a problem with this. Basically, there are three types of squirrels. Tree squirrels. These are the most common species, often seen running across tree branches and climbing trees. Ground squirrels. This type of squirrel primarily lives in forests, burrowing in the ground and hibernating during winter months. Flying squirrels. They don't actually fly, but flaps of skin that extend between their legs allow them to glide through the air as they leap from tree to tree. Flying squirrels probably make the best pets. These creatures are highly affectionate, bond with their owner, and can even get along with people who aren't their caretakers. Taking all this into account, perhaps the best way to satisfy your wish for these wonderful creatures would be to watch them in the park and yard, feed them, and leave them tasty treats. Often the squirrels will become very accustomed to it and often come to your yards, and you will have the pleasure of observing them while they still live in freedom. What they love most is to run freely in nature and be what they are, forest creatures. What is the situation with squirrels in your country? We know that we have a lot of subscribers from Canada and that there are a lot of squirrels there. Write us in the comments, we want to hear your opinion and experience. That would be all for today's lesson, join us in the next episode and don't forget to subscribe and like. Also ring that bell, so you don't miss the next class. Stay safe and happy. And don't forget, love and respect all your pets and enjoy the time you are given to spend together.